check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. Take care out there. Captain! Big flaming thingy! I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram? Hiram, are you there? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Carry on. Hey.
Let's do it again. I'll keep an eye on things out here. I'll keep an eye out. Go on ahead, boss.
Hey, Felix, you like riddles? Is that a riddle? Because the answer is yes. Hit me with another one. All right, here goes. Many have heard me, but none have seen me. And I won't speak until spoken to. What am I? Won't speak until spoken to, huh? Oh, I got it. You're an obedient corporate slave, right? What? No. The answer's Echo. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Those MSI stiffs won't know what hit him. I mean, they will, because it's going to be me with a tossball stick. And you, Captain. Are you prepared? This is it. Let us save this planet once and for all. Meet our forces in the ruins south of the city. Come prepared. Sanjar is sure to go down swinging.
Best hacker in the league's fella by the name of Take It Easy Tater. 59 injuries to his name in three non-consecutive seasons. Why do you call me? There we go! That had to hurt! That's what the mediators used to shout out every time you'd go into a bloodthirsty frenzy. another one. I can only live where there's light, but if the light shines on me, I die. What? I... I thought this would be easier. 
Sanjar's death is surprisingly heavy on my conscience after all this time. But I mustn't let that distract me from our victory. We can now take our truth to the stars, Captain, and I have you to thank for that. Your motivations are your own. What matters more is the path you walk, the actions you take. The boss said it best. Whatever it takes to liberate Halcyon from the board, we'll get it done. Your enthusiasm is truly refreshing, young man. And save it we shall. With every step we take forward, the board's time dwindles. For the moment, we will recuperate. Collect ourselves and our resources. Know if ever you find yourself in need of a favor, you may call upon your friends in Stellar Bay. Hell of a job, Captain. Got my sights on you. Hmm? Hope Zora sends me on next. Carry on. Yes. Not, not. Said you docked three days ago.
What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. I wholeheartedly concur. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, stop! Please, just listen to me. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. What? No! Incoming! I was hoping for a word. I want to thank you for not interfering back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. Not today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit, who shall not be named, spelled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. Destination reached. Scylla. Hey, boss. I want to talk to you. Hey, boss. I got a hypothetical for you. You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then, one day, 
They up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me.